Hey, how are y'all doing today? I wanted to show you a quick kind of wrap that you can do where you wrap starting right here down your fender well. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I have some leftover uh, 5D gloss I'm going to do. And I'll also show you how to use this product here. It's the 3M knifeless cutting tape. So we'll be using that on the top. Well, to first start off, uh, what I did was just cut a template that fits right in here. Once I had the template done, basically all I'm doing is just outlining it on a piece that I already have just kind of pre-cut. And I'm just going to cut it around and simply apply it in here. I tried initially to put this whole piece on here and cut, but it didn't work, so uh, the best bet, in my opinion, is just to make a template and just stick it on. If it comes short, you have a little bit left over, just do it again, make it a little bit longer. You'll get it figured out. Here's the piece I've cut out. Now all I have to do is simply, if I can, get this off the back here and just apply it. Now what I figured is best, or figured out is best, is if you stick it where you want to, then you put your finger here, that way it lets you just kind of articulate the way that you want it to, to lay. So now that I have the inside portion complete and finish the way I want, I'm simply going to lift on the back and then just press the rest of it down. And now I have the whole piece applied here. At the end you can see it kind of folds over and kinks a little bit. All I do is just take the heat gun or like this, just a blow dryer put it on warm and fold it around. A good tip is to open up the inside of your door that way you can fold it around to the inside a whole lot better and easier. I'm going to go ahead and, and apply the knifeless cutting tape. I'm going to put a strip at the bottom. Sometimes it's easier to just go ahead and cut it and then apply it. Now the reason why I'm doing this is since there's a gap where you see a little bit of red at the bottom, I'm leaving a little bit of gap at the top. That way it looks even on both sides of my side marker emblems here. So I have this piece done. Now the next part is going to be to wrap up here and around here. So I'm going to start like I did before, leave a, a lot of extra tape just to be safe. And what I'm doing here is just slowly just kind of working it around. That way I can get an idea of how much tape I want. Then I'm going to cut it. <coughs> then strip it back. And then reapply.
Now in working with this tape, whenever you come to an angle like this, it's best to just put your hand on there and turn the tape to where you need it to go. If you try to pull it, you're going to pull the actual line underneath outside of the tape. So I'll get the curve that I want. And then follow it the rest of the way down. Now with this tape, it's always good to go back and just push on it. That way you have a good seal against it. So whenever you actually apply the fiber, or in this case, the carbon fiber overlay over top of it, it actually will adhere well to the actual paint. That way your cut is going to be more even. So go ahead right now and take off my film and just apply it over. So now I have this piece ready to be applied. The reason why I cut it bigger is that way I can orient it the same way that this carbon fiber is moving here. You simply just set it on there. And I'll go ahead and take my squeegee and the heat dryer and work it around. Now the next step is going to be to peel your actual tape. All you do is just put your hand on it and start pulling and you see it cuts through on the middle. And you want to pull it back at an angle. Once you get to where it actually meets the vinyl, you want to put two fingers and once you start pulling, this one's a little bit tougher. Once you start pulling it will eventually just cut through here. There we go. That's why you want to leave a little bit of spares because you don't want this to actually happen right where you're cutting. So now all I have to do is just follow it around. There we go. Take off the piece. Now whenever you take off this tape there's going to be two strands. You see one here and one here. You want to make sure that you remove both of them. Alright, now we can start with the bottom.
There we go. And since this is meeting, all I'm going to do is just go like this and do a quick pull. See, that's another way you can pull it just straight through. So now I have the bottom to take off. And the last part here, you can easily see where the middle of the gap is here. All you do is just cut right down the center. It doesn't have to be perfect since you are rolling the tape around. And it is exactly like a same way I showed you before. You just open the door and fold this layer in. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you the final result. I think it turned out pretty good. I like this uh, 5D gloss even though the film is really a big pain to work with. As you can see I did my mirrors, kind of a custom red strip going through, which is actually pretty cool because I have a red strip here. Then I have a little red strip here. For those of you that didn't see the back uh, as well, just wrap the back here with that knifeless cutting tape it's super easy just to go around here <clears throat> as well as just the back I'd wrap my side skirts uh, rear little side diffusers as well as my front lip so I got a big roll of it so I was able to just play around with this see what I like see what I don't like and figure out as well as just uh, do all of my processes a little bit better in the future. And also I was able to do all of these little columns here which turned out really cool. This is really the main purpose of buying the tape was to do these. They turned out awesome. So hope you guys like this video and hope it helps anyone new to wrapping and using the knifeless tape. As always happy driving and enjoy.